Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and we're designandtechtips.com. Well, we've got a bit of fun for you today. We've got this animated sci-fi type background going on here. Really easy to do, really effective too. We've got to do a little bit of coding for this today, but don't worry about that. As usual, any code I write, I'll put down below the video. You're welcome to copy, paste it, use it how you will. Now, because I'm recording my screen at the moment, that flying saucer looks slightly glitchy but I can assure you on the live web, web version it's absolutely smooth. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder. Once enabled let's go down. I'm simply going to delete the whole thing and we'll start from scratch. I'm going to put in a single row with a single column. Inside I'm going to use a little blurb module and I think I said are we alone? Obviously you put in whatever works for you. Put a question mark there. And I had a bit of spiel about UFOs here. So let's just pop that in there. If I move this over you can see what's going on. That's great. And I'm not going to use an image, I'll just use a little icon. I think I just did a search for an alien. Yeah, there's a little fella. There he is right there. Okay, well, let's go over to our design now. I think I'm going to have all of my text in the middle, so I'm just going to go to text, pop it all in the middle. I will flip it to light, but not right now. You can make it any color you want these things. I'll show you that in a moment. But my title text, I want it to be a lot bigger, so I'm going to pop in there. I'm going to use a font, and there's plenty to choose from called Antonio. There it is. I'm going to make it semi-bold and a lot bigger. Let's even make it bold. Great. When you're happy with whatever you've got going on, I want a bit more space between that and the content below. So I'm going to roll down do that with line height I'm just going to pull this up to the right and you'll see the space increase between the little icon and the text below that's good great now I'd like to my content to take up for I don't know about 70% of my screen at the moment it's just taking up about 550 pics in the middle so still in design let's pop down to sizing and you'll see content width there I'm going to type in 100% rather than do it in pixels. So I'm going to type 100 and the percent. Yeah, that's fine. We can always adjust that later. Well, let's put in whatever background you want to animate over. I'm going to do that in this section. Little blue tab for the section. Click on the cog. I'm going to go down to background. I'm going to add an image. Got one in my library here. There it is. And I want my actual section here to be the full height of whatever screen you're viewing on. So let's go over to design. Go down to sizing. And in height, I'm going to put 100 VH for viewable height. It's now stretching the full height of whatever screen you're viewing it on. Great. Now we've got our background in there. We've got the shape we want. Let's just save this. We'll make this stand out a bit better to do that. I'm just going to go back in there. And like I did before, I'm going to go down just to the regular text. I'm going to make all of that text light in color. And of course, you can adjust it. And if you want to make this a different color or do anything to it on its own, just hit the little white paintbrush in the blue circle there. It'll take you straight to it. Same with the content, it'll take you straight to it there for the design. Okay, well let's just change the color of that little icon. Let's make that white as well. Great. So I'm gonna add a little call to action button for this little section. Just gonna hit the little plus to add a new module. I'm just gonna pop a button in there. And we're gonna say report a sighting. 
or whatever you want to say obviously put your button link in there I'm gonna go over to design now I want my button in the middle right below this lot I want to style it up slightly differently so I'm gonna go into it I'm gonna hit the little button that says no I'm gonna flip it to yes for custom styles text size is fine text colors fine too background I'm gonna make it black but I'm gonna click on the field or take the opacity down the amount of opaqueness the amount you can see through it to about halfway something like that I'm gonna give it a little border I'm gonna make that border white and just to make this button stand out a bit more I'm gonna give it a bit of a glow around it by going down let's just turn the icon off I don't want an icon on this one today I'm gonna go down to box shadow I'm gonna pop in this one you can't see much going on there but if I pop down I change that color to white gives it a nice little background glow there I think I'll capitalize that and perhaps make it make it a bit wider too so let's go up close up the box shadow spacing wise I'm gonna make it a bit wider Let's say give it 60. Yeah, and 60. And let's curve off those corners perhaps. We'll shut that up back in the button. We can make those rounded corners with the border radius. We roll down a bit. Just down below the border width we set earlier. Let's make them say 30 pixels. Perfect. Great. That works for me. Now I'm just going to scoot this whole thing down a bit I think to where I want it so, uh, by doing by giving the blurb module a bit of padding on the top so back into the blurb module the dark tab up there design spacing let's give it maybe 150 something like that maybe a bit too much I think 100 will probably do it yeah that's great now let's have some fun let's make the animation Oh, I wanted to capitalize that text didn't I back in the button roll on down and there we are we can capitalize it right there fantastic great well now I'm going to add a new row I'm going to hit the little green button to add a new row again I'm going to put a single column in there this time I'm going to use an image there's a little image module let's choose my image I've got a ping with no background, transparent background, or a little flying saucer there. Obviously, you use whatever you want, it's going to work for you. And I've just popped that in there. Now that we've got the image in there, I'm just going to hit the save. I'm going to go back into my row, a little green tab for a row. I'm going to go over to advanced position. I'm going to change it from relative. To absolute it's popped it up to the side there I'm gonna pop it right in the middle it's left aligned image that's fine and when I write a bit of animation code for it we'll adjust it so it comes in perhaps up here and goes out down here now to do that while I'm in the advanced let's close up position there I'm gonna go down to CSS IDs and classes and let's give it the class of UFO and for animation call yours what you want it wants to be unique I like mine to mean something to me great well let's write a bit of code to make this animate so I'm actually gonna add another little module just under our button here again a little dark button to add a new module I'm gonna use the code module for this today and we'll write some code okay we're going to be writing CSS so we have to put this in style brackets this is the only part I can't put down below the video and a style bracket is left pointy bracket the word style s-t-y-l-e and right pointy bracket when you put that in it'll automatically put a closing one at the end of it in between the two of them that's where we write our CSS code okay we gave that the class of UFO and all classes have a dot or a period in front UFO and then we can open and close some curly brackets inside there we can tell it what we want it to do well I want it to animate so I'm going to say animation 
colon and the name of the animation we want to give it I'm going to call mine UFO space call yours what you want that does have to be unique and it can't be the same as your class name up there I want mine to run for a long time 20 seconds so I'm going to say 20 s I want it to be linear so it's really smooth and I want it to be infinite so it keeps going and going great that'll work for the time being now we've got to create an animation called UFO space so let's just copy that. We're using keyframes to do this today. So it's at keyframes. Then the name of the animation, which I just copied. And we can open and close some more curly brackets. And we can tell it exactly what we want to do during the 20 second cycle of this animation. So we'll say, 0% or basically when the page loads second one of our 20 seconds so we're going to close some curly brackets I want to scoot it over so I'm going to say margin left I'm going to scoot it over by 100% margin left colon negative 100% and as you can see it's scooted off the left there let's put a semicolon there let's tidy this up a little and don't forget all this code will be down below the video now we've got that I'm going to copy it control C I'm going to paste it twice underneath at 50% or around a 10 second mark I'm going to give it a 40% margin so it should be over the other side as you can see it's starting to go over the other side now and at 100% I'm going to give it negative 100 again so it's going to be back over, way back over here. As you can see, it's doing that at the moment. It's not getting all the way over to the right here. So let's try putting this margin left up to 70%, see if that makes any difference. When it comes back, we want to see if it goes all the way to the right. Here it comes. Not quite. We'll make it 100%. Keep things nice and easy. But I also want it changing height when we do this. So let's perhaps give it a different margin top, middle and bottom by saying margin top. I'm going to give it say negative 400 or 450 pixels, negative 450 pixels. So now when it starts it should come in higher up. There we go, that's great. Let's put a semicolon after that. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste one below at the 50% mark. Let's change that to maybe negative 200 it should start coming down there we go great and like I say obviously adjust yours how you want and let's do one at the ending and we'll have it even further down maybe positive 150 or regular 150 and it should zigzag and if you want to speed it up just take it down in seconds up here 10 maybe too quick I know it's boring for you having to look through it every time, but you can have it however you want. There we go. It's disappearing a bit down the bottom there. That's kind of working for me. But it'd be even nicer, perhaps, if we could make it grow and shrink as it's doing this, like it's coming nearer and getting further away. I'm going to put that back to 20. It's getting a bit crazy for me. There we go. So down below this one, this time, I'm going to use a bit of transform scale. So I'm going to say transform, colon scale, some round brackets at the end there and inside I want it to start off twice the size it should be so there we go there it is at twice the size but I don't want it like that all the time so I'm going to copy this once more control C I'm going to drop down to the next one paste it in I'm going to go from twice the size to half the size 0.5 
and then back to regular size when it gets down here which would be one and you should see it sort of getting smaller and bigger while it's rotating and doing its little animation as well and obviously change these things up to get it more or less dramatic timing wise I showed you how to do that just now that's quite a fun little animation let's make it a little bit more dramatic make it 0.25 it comes in pretty small there right well let's save this make sure everything's gonna work on the front and don't forget all the CSS code bar the styles will be down below save draft or publish if you're ready and let's exit the visual builder And there we go, there's our little sci-fi animated background going on. You could put an autoplay tune in the background, but I don't recommend that. One thing I will do, though, we have got a problem here. It's not a problem, everything is working. But I notice the little scroll bar when it goes over to one side. What I'm going to do is go back in there and hide any overflow on the section. So there's a little scroll bar like that there. So let's quickly go back in there. I'm going to go into the section, the blue tab. I'm going to go over, over to advanced. Visibility. And here's horizontal and vertical overflow. I'm going to turn both of those to hidden. That way anything that falls outside of this section will not be seen. And what's doing it is that row moving around as we've animated it save that again and we should be good to go so there you go guys there's your little sci-fi animated background i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel just before we go i'll show what it looks like on responsive devices I'll bring up my Chrome Inspector. There it is on an iPad. Now some devices will block animations, but they do actually work. It is down there. That's pretty cool. Let's have a look at it on our little iPhone 12. And as you can see, it's on there. Like I say, some devices will block animations. But it's a great little feature to have nonetheless. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.